promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome to Quick Shot Reviews for Cheap Shot Entertainment. I'm your host Luke and I'm here with Josh. Hello. And we're going to talk about men. Oh, we're doing men, are we? <laughs> well, what was you expecting to do? I don't know. But yeah, men. We saw it the other day. So, Josh, you're going to do a lot of men. So, it's billed as a horror, but I'd call it more of a psychological thriller. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd take that, yeah. Um, so, a bit of background on the film Men. Obviously, it was released this weekend, uh, the 1st yep. of uh, June. I think we went to the first showing, didn't we? Uh, going, going, yeah, I think probably close to the first showing. Now, it's got, um, well, it's not even got mixed reviews. It's got middling reviews. Really? According to this, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I actually uh, quite enjoyed it, but we'll get into yeah, the, we'll get into the, the details of it. Later on, I think it's an acquired taste, like most A24 films are. Um, so, it was directed by Alex Garland. And uh, it's about a young woman who goes on a solo vacation to the English countryside. Uh, following the death of her ex-husband. So that gives you a basic overview. And of course, it was released in the 2022. The was different to that, but I'll go with that. Yeah, well, I think yours was a bit more involved, but yeah. uh, that's that's Don't a, want to spoil anything. yeah, it, it's an overview, and um, I think that's yeah, that takes takes it to where you want it to be without doing any spoilers. Yeah. Um, with the tagline "What haunts you will find you," so it gives you a bit more of an idea. Anyway, um, <clears throat> please. Do click subscribe and like the video and do all the YouTube stuff. Join us on social media on Cheap Shot Entertainment. And that's Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Uh, start the conversation. Have you seen this film? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Tell us. Get the conversation started. But we'll see you in the main part of the vlog, podcast, whatever you want to call it. It's a quick shot review. We'll see you there. So, like I say, official A24 movie by Andy Garland. Um, so, my take on this is that it's, like Josh said, it's quite psychological. It's a psychological thriller. In the way it's set up. Um, starts innocently enough. Uh, the main character um, goes on a solo vacation, not a solo holiday. Uh, to the countryside, finds a really nice country house. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's all a bit of a blur. It is. But um, tss. anyway, you didn't get it, did you? Country house. Blur. Yeah. Blur. Okay. It's all a bit of a blur. Yeah. You see? I want to my, the card is just. It's the unbearable weight of my massive talent. Um, so. Yeah, she finds a, a really nice house in the country. She goes there. She's hoping to be left alone, go on some walks, that kind of stuff, clear her head. Yeah. Been through a bit of a trauma, it's the fair to say. The the tunnel's fun. The, mm. With the music in the tunnel. Yeah. That's that's interesting, the way she does that, and mm. the way they've filmed it as well. Mm. It, and, that's good. And that's, that's pretty much the point where everything starts to go... Right. A bit, bit funky, but we won't go into too much detail. But apart from you get to see a man's dick. Again, detail. Am I not allowed to say that? <laughs> well, I mean, you say well, dick you on see YouTube. Dick, don't go and see this film. <laughs> well, it's called Men. I mean, it's probably going to see dick somewhere. 
Yeah, but if it was a woman, you wouldn't see a picture of a flange out, would you? Well, I mean, yeah, we're going to spoilers again, aren't we? Um, so, yeah, so it's provocative. I had a take on it that I didn't. a lot of people probably won't, but that's the nature of sort of the job that it's I do. It's one you've got to watch twice. Yeah, it, it's something that you need to go and see to make up your own mind about. Yeah. But I think it handles something, uh, a subject it's, that's quite it's sensitive. It's health, isn't it? Yeah. It handles a subject that's quite sensitive in a way that's thought-provoking. Now, um, I get it. People won't always see it that way. The one I can liken it to the most, the film that I can liken it to the most, would be Shutter Island. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if, if you like Shutter Island, you're probably going to like this. I can, uh, Yeah, I can see the, the sort of similarities between Shutter Island and, and this. That's what we've um, got to watch together and a review on it. It's a bloody good film. So... Yeah, I, I, it's really difficult to describe without giving things away. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have to be really careful about how we do things with with this review. Um, yeah, you don't want to, yeah. I don't want to burn the bridges before you get there, but we're going to go through some of the cast. So it um, stars Jessie Buckley as Harper. She is the she main was character. Very, she was very, very good. Uh, Rory Kinnear as Jeffrey, that is the guy who Rains owns the house. Yeah. Uh, Papa Esidu as James, who is the ex-husband. Yeah. Uh, Gail Rankin as Riley, that is the friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, was that a sister? I thought it was a sister. Uh, is there a sister? I, it I don't a know. Um, there is Sarah Twome. As the police officer, Zach Rovera Ox, I'm guessing that's Oxley. We've just been joined by Tilly, Tilly the dog. So if you like dogs, leave a subscribe and like the video. Um, Tilly! Um, and uh, yeah, it only goes well, up to cast, really. Sonoya, Sonoya Mizuno as the as another police officer so yeah really small cast um like 10 people tops yeah i i still think that um that the main guy played most of the characters yeah i really do um you can see it in the face now yeah, thinking about it but let's not break let's yeah not, let's not ruin it um so i i do think that but yeah it's definitely one for you to go and watch make up your own mind on it and Don't look uh, at online reviews if it's middling because I thought it was very good. So. Yeah. Like so, I say, if you like psychological thrillers, then go and watch this film. It's billed as a horror, but it's, there's not much horror in it. It's it's a psychological thriller. Yeah. So yeah, that is that is our quick shot review of. Uh, I give it a dick out of two dicks. Of men. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's one that you should definitely go and make your own mind up about. So we'll see you next time for more movie goodness, more movie madness. Movie madness? What is uh, the next film we're going to see? I don't know. Jurassic World, isn't Jurassic it? Jurassic World, yeah, that's coming up. And uh, still some to catch up on as well. So Stay tuned for the Jurassic World one. I've got a feeling there's going to be two separate opinions on that film. And, um, yeah, so... We'll leave you there, and um, and we'll see you next time. So make sure you like and subscribe, join us on social media, and we'll see you there. Goodbye, Cheap Shot Nation. Bye.